as Pete mentioned, there were 36 other passengers on this bus, all of them unharmed. Ben Jordan continues our live team coverage tonight from the intermodal station with passengers reaction to the frightening ride, Ben. Tom, this is where that bus left from. Some passengers tell us a suspect put them in fear almost immediately after they boarded. It was supposed to be a routine Greyhound bus ride from Milwaukee to Chicago. Patrick Dodd says that all changed as soon as they took off when a man in the back started making threats. Saying that he was going to kill us, that he was going to put a bullet in our head. 33-year-old Margarito Vargas Rosas caught many passengers' attention, turning a calm ride into a frightening situation with nowhere to go. You know, he was just acting, he was acting crazy. That, that, that's basically what it boils down to, you know. Um, we tried to get him to calm down. There was four or five people telling him he needs to, you know, sit back down. Um, he refused to. Dodd says that's when the threats turned into some sort of action. It did look like he had a weapon. He looked like he drew something out of his pants. Um, and that's when we made the phone call. According to investigators, at least two passengers on the bus called 911 last night shortly before 10 as it made its way through Milwaukee County. Terrence Williams says it didn't take long to notice all of the patrol lights. About 30 police was behind us. However, the driver kept going. They uh, threw some spikes out. He avoided the first two. The third one like totally blew out the tire. Then they had like a bunch of guns drawn. The vehicle eventually came to rest in Illinois. Williams says Vargas Rosas didn't stop threatening passengers until they exited the bus. And once again, law enforcement officers did not find a weapon on the suspect. Authorities have applied for a search warrant and plan to thoroughly inspect the bus. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Ben Jordan. Today's TMJ4. Ben, thanks. Vargas Rojas is being held at the Lake County Jail in Waukegan. He is due in court tomorrow morning.